Yes. These are some of the folks that I got for Neil. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be all about me nesting and prepping for the baby girl's arrival. She is due in a month and uh, I'm currently sitting in the kids room. This is Neil's room right now but it's going to be kids room once um, she starts sleeping in here. She would be in our room for like um, first five to six months like Neil was and, but she will be in her own bassinet. Um, I don't think I'll be okay with her in my bed because I just I'm just not comfortable with that so she would be in her own bassinet but she would be in our room um, so I have everything washed and ready to go her clothes her her onesies her body suits her swaddles her hats her mittens and everything ready to go her washed and everything but uh, I have to figure out how to put stuff in the dresser we are only putting like one dresser in the kids room I'll show you which one uh, we are only putting like that uh, dresser in the kids room so I, de I do need to figure out how to put everything in there I do think that the dresser is big enough that it would hold everything for her and for Neil Neil doesn't really like he has clothes but he do but we don't really buy like I don't go overboard with buying clothes for him because let's be honest he's growing he's in his growing age so whatever we are buying he's just wearing that for like a few months so I don't really want to um, spend a lot of money on something that he's just gonna wear for one year yes if there are special occasions and stuff I do um, splurge on things for him but otherwise we have like a few set clothes that he wears and we just you know, keep washing them which is I think ideal <laughs> anyway I don't know why I'm talking about that um, I and I don't know if I talked about the setup for the room so I'll probably do once the nurseries once like the room is the shared kids room is complete I'll probably do a tour um, but like we have Neil's crib here right now and then her crib would go on this opposite wall so they're on the opposite sides and it'll be easier if she's here so we can just change her whenever we need to uh, because we are also going to put the changing station like make the changing station on the dresser uh, we don't really change Neil anymore on the changing station. Um, he, we just change his diaper standing. He just looks out the window and we just change his diaper. He's still not potty trained, which we are still working on that. We are in the process of that. We are still working on it, but it's kind of a little bit slow right now because I don't want him. I don't want to change a lot of things with the uh, with 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 his new sibling coming to. So we'll see when you know things are a little bit slowed down and he's also a little bit more ready for the whole body training thing but we're probably do it then but right now we are just um but 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 yeah right now we don't really change him on the dresser so it's not gonna be an issue um but yeah i am going to bring out everything all the clothes and everything that i have um washed and folded um some i do need to fold still and then we will get started on the organization i'm also thinking about um putting labels on the drawers where I'm putting what so um, everybody has a clear idea on where the things are. Okay. So we have this and then you know what I have and then oh the match was the box. Here, you can have the box. Temperature, yes. 
while we are moving things, doing things. Yes! Teddy bear temperature. How much is it? I also just washed some more of Neil's clothes. So I'm going to organize and fold these as well. So I have a better idea of how much space I do need for both of their stuff. So I didn't get to everything right now. It is actually lunchtime and Neil is really hungry. So we gotta go have lunch. But let me share what we actually did. So we're going to put the changing bed right here. It is still in the guest room. So I'm going to like clean this up a little bit better. So it sticks really well. And then uh, we also put the mirror right here. Hi. And then these two IKEA shelves that we had. I put this um, like upside down so I can hang some of her dresses or her sweaters and stuff those are like the cute ones and then I have had this diaper caddy since uh, Neil so this is mostly going to have her diapers and then like her some um, like play things I don't even remember what you call this and then uh, her like her diaper cream and other stuff and then this one is going to have her um, burp cloths we do have a lot of burp cloths now that I see so we should be good on that and then I have a few more from Carter's that are in again in the guest room that I need to get here probably tomorrow but so that's what situation that's the situation on the top and then I'll maybe also put a night lamp right here um, and then in this drawer um, I do need to we also have like a, um, a wipes dispenser that I need to get so I'll probably put the wipes in there but this drawer primarily has Neil's diapers because this is where he where we change his diaper he looks outside the window looks at the cars coming and going and it's easier for us um, to grab and uh, this is just gonna be his diaper drawer our OB diaper pail is right here I think it's gonna be here um, the drawer next to it is uh, for now has like all of her um, more more of her diapers um, I do need to figure out some use of this I'm definitely going to fill it up like I'm definitely going to fill up all of these drawers I just need to figure out a better way of how to organize things but I think this is what I'm going to do for now and then there's another one that has like some more of her hats well it's not exactly like her hats a lot of these are Neil's some are from one of her friends who had a baby last year around this time so those are actually really good um, the next drawer is most of her clothes these are all of the bodysuits that we have these two are like outfits this is from h&m this one was neil's but i really like it it's really really soft so i um kept it for her too well i, I mean i kept it for like my second baby but um but yeah these are all of her bodysuits these are the ones like the middle um line is the one that is all full sleeve but the rest are also like just body suits in general all and these are all like newborn sizes then here we have her um, pajamas or sleepies so we have three um, fleece ones and the rest are again Neil's and um, our friends babies um, which she just turned one year so um, so our friend was really kind enough to give us some of her pajamas so she has a lot of hand-me-downs <laughs> but I did get some new for her and then um, these two these this has like all of her 
pants and like leggings and stuff and then this one has the mittens like I mentioned in one of my previous videos I'm not gonna try to put a lot of mittens on her so she can like explore more but we still need them sometimes right <laughs> and then this drawer is going to be Neil's drawer so this one has like his bed sheets um, his towels his uh, pants his pajamas and stuff and then this drawer is going to be hers again so this has like swaddles in the back it's like the the zero to three months which we are not using right now we'll bring it out when she's out of newborn size and then I'm, I was just trying to adjust and see how um, how many other organizers I can put in this one this will also have probably her like her towels and her bed sheets and stuff and then I do need to empty this drawer it is kind of like a junk of stuff and then this one is probably going to have the extra ones like um, extra diapers extra like both of their extra diapers or maybe I'll put them in the in the closet this is all I could do today I think I don't I, I don't think I would be able to do anything more today that's one of the things this time around is that I can only do stuff when Neil is awake and when like my husband is off work so he can uh, he can play with him otherwise I'm not really able to do much with him here and also because upstairs because the rooms are upstairs my husband works upstairs in our bedroom so it's a little bit difficult for him to work while Neil is also here because he won't let him work he would just want to play with Dada um, but uh, yeah now is now we're going for lunch time and uh, I will see if I can do more today after he wakes up from his nap because after lunch time is our nap time like not our nap time but like you know everybody snoozes a little bit um, it's mostly Neil's nap time <laughs> And then after that, he would probably want to go for a car ride. So we'll see if he wants me to come or not. Like if I can just hang back. If I can, maybe I'll just do a little bit more here. If not, I will probably continue this tomorrow. Okay. I know I said that I would probably organize again tomorrow. But then I remembered that there are a few things in our basement. From like my first pregnancy, first time with Neil, that I could definitely bring upstairs. And then I also remembered, well not remembered, when I was looking downstairs in the basement. In one of the big boxes, I found the um, wipes dispenser. I was thinking that that was in our um, guest room closet, but it wasn't. It was actually downstairs. So I got a few things. Let me show you guys what all was downstairs that we are going to use. So um, this is the infant car seat that we had with Neil. This is the one from Maxi Cozy. We have the Maxi Cozy convertible seat that Neil is using right now. But this is the infant car seat and this is what my husband brought from downstairs but it also has like um, the infant like newborn head insert thingy that was still downstairs so I got that and uh, to like the cushion thingy so the head insert goes on right here because their heads are like really really small I remember Neil's head was like so small and when we were putting him in the car seat for the first time in the hospital to come home the nurse said that oh you should just take this away and we took it out and then after that I'll post a photo like I'll just put a photo here on the screen his head was like from side to side and I was so sad so I'm definitely gonna put this um, like in the car seat this time around and then I, I don't think I will, will put this here like right now obviously she's gonna be really really small she's not gonna be doing anything with these so I'm just gonna take these out but um, I'm gonna wash these and have them ready for when she's ready to explore things <laughs> so got the car seat this is the mattress for our back and play the bassinet that, the bassinet that we are going to use and uh, I need to kind of like, I guess, vacuum and like sanitize it or something. And then some other things that we got. Oh, this is the wipes dispenser that I was talking about. It still has the, it still has this, um, uh, the, the label on it, but I got my hack out. I am going to have to sanitize and wash, like wash and sanitize this and uh, get this ready. I'll, I'm also going to take this uh, with me to the hospital. Oh, and then I also brought out his uh, her pacifiers. And then I have the Love Every um, Play Gym. So I got the, and so the Play Gym is actually upstairs in the dresser, but the legs for that was downstairs. And the, the this thingy was also downstairs that holds the three legs together. So I got these out too. And then we also have like the bottle warmer, Baby Brezza bottle warmer that's downstairs. Um, I'm, I don't want to go downstairs again, so my husband will probably bring that upstairs. And then we also have the Baby Brezza formula maker. So I'll probably bring that out too and put that in the like make its own station, like the baby baby formula station there. Um, 
so you know it's all ready to go okay i think i have put everything that i had right now in the dresser now this changing pad is not going to stay here this is the one that i actually got for downstairs so this is going to go downstairs and then this is going to stay here this is going to stay here these are all of her burp cloths like these are all like neil's burp cloths but these are going to be hers now and i need to like get a few more um sets of work plot so we can like also put them in our bedroom or downstairs and then this space the here i think the like i'll just put a lamp or something for like night changes when she starts sleeping here and then we have these two shelves here now i need to get like better decor for here i was just trying to see how it looks but i added three of her um pretty like you know <laughs> clothes here um i got this one this one and this is a gift for her and then this is actually a piggy bank um that i got for neil but i only filled it out like once or twice so i should get better at doing that and then these are two of her toys that i um i think i'm only, only going to put one maybe just the giraffe here and then that is um, neil's ultrasound picture i want to get like a frame that can hold like two ultrasound pictures together um i actually really like the idea of having your ultrasound photos framed so uh, i would definitely do that with her too um but yeah i need to also get like maybe a small plant i have a small like christmas tree that is that was here before but i I'm not really a big fan of that one, so I might get a new one. Um, but yeah, uh, I was just trying to see how it looks. I have uh, also ordered some bows for her, some bath towels, and extra washcloths for her. Um, and like a few more things i can't remember a baby blanket all of these like in my um, in my registry so i have ordered these but they should be getting here in the next week or so so i will be adding stuff um in the dresser as they come but for now i feel really calm knowing the fact like a little bit calm knowing the fact that the drawer like the dresser her clothes everything is like ready if she comes today i don't think i'll be panicked which is good now i'm going to bring out the uh the card that we have from target and uh just like kind of wipe it and clean it so i can get it ready for setting up the bedside like the bedroom bedside nursery card for her for myself like i'll stock it with like my postpartum essentials some of my clothes extra diapers and all that so you know it's easier for like nighttime feeds or whenever she's in our room i don't need to like crap and like come to her room and grab stuff and then go to our room so because i know it seems very like you can't walk a little bit but it's really difficult walking it's really difficult to even get out of the bed at that time so i just want everything in like my hands reach <laughs> feels like her elbow might be like right here because she keeps poking me like I can actually feel it it's really sweet though I've been doing a lot of um, like the pregnancy ball exercises too to make sure that she is in the head down position because it, I don't feel like she is like, these are some of the books that I got from Neil when he was a baby I feel like this year I'm not really like getting a lot of things which is understandable because I already have like a lot of stuff, but I just feel guilty not doing all of that for her too. All right, I moved the card right here. This is like my side of the bed. Um, camera is right there. And uh, I don't have like everything that I need in the card right now 
but I was just trying to figure out how I could put the organizers here. I think I'm gonna put her like her diapers and her like birth cloths and stuff right here. A few extra clothes in the bottom along with like some swaddles and stuff. And then my pump stuff here because I think I'll, I will be like pumping at night probably. Um, in this I think I'm just gonna put like my uh, pump bottles and all that. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the progress I made. I have like a list of things that I need to do before I go into labor and because I don't know when I will or if I will or whenever she comes here I have um, I am trying to like get things done I have a list like I said and I'll like put the list right here but uh, out of that I had like uh, pack my hospital bag which I did I'm just waiting on a few things but I am going to check that off because I did already do that um, and then I had organized nursery dressers I already did that I'm gonna check that for sure um, and then I have to pack Neil's bag for when we go to the hospital he would be staying in front of our friend's house so I need to pack his bag for that um, I have to set up bassinet set up a bedside cart the cart is right here I need to get stuff to put in it so I'm still leaving that open and then I need to stash bathrooms with like postpartum essentials I do have the like the baskets ready but again like I said I'm still waiting on a few things uh, and, I'll, and then next I have um, I have to prep like freeze meals and lactation and snacks, um, which I would probably start, which I would probably start doing like next weekend, or like the last week of this year of December. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with the progress I made on the weekend. Um, I'm usually not going to do much in the week because my husband is working and I would need all the time. But I would pick it back up on the next weekend and I would probably start working on this bedside card, stashing the bathroom with stuff. And then I would also share like what freezer items, like freezer meals or lactation snacks I'm making to freeze, freeze for like after she's here. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. And I will link everything in the description box, anything that I can find to link to. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next week. Bye.